first introduce the product itself. This is P32420. The tag on top of it works as a cover for the four push buttons. Let me show you how it goes. So first you need to uncover it by mo moving the tag this way. All right. Second, you need to start dealing with the four push buttons over here. So that we have left, right, up and down. The right arrow we use to switch from the main display to the configuration menu. And actually also we use it to lock the configuration changes that we do. And I'm gonna show you that. The left arrow is to get out of the configuration menu or out of the sub menu to the main menu. Up and down is to change your configuration values. In this application, the pressure transmitter located exactly at the bottom of tank, 20 foot tank filled with water, and that tank is vented to the atmosphere. What we need to do is to configure two things. One is the pressure range, which is the lower range value and the upper range value. And also we need to configure the display. Later on, you will see why do we need to configure the display independently from the pressure range. First thing we need to do is to go from the main display to the configuration menu by hitting the right arrow. Now we are on the configuration menu and the very first parameter is the pressure unit. We need to change it. The way to change it is to click on the right arrow. All right, and now you can use the up and down arrows to switch between units till you can find the desirable one. In our application, we need to set it for feet of water in reference of 68 degree. Now it's there, so to lock that change, you need to click on the red arrow one more time. Then we switch to the second parameter. The second parameter is your lower range value, which is your four milliamp value. In order to change it, click on the right arrow. Now, start to toggle the down and up arrow till you get to the desirable value. In this case, we need to go to zero feet of water since we have it at exactly at the bottom of the tank. All right? You need to watch out for overshooting. Most likely that will happen, but just watch out for it. Now, all right, we are almost there. All right, now exactly zero, so I can lock it by click on the right arrow. Then going to the third parameter, this is your upper range value. You need to click on the right arrow, and we need to set it for 20 feet of water for our application. So I keep pushing on the down arrow, and actually you can speed it up a little bit if you want by pressing on the up one. All right, I overshoot it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the 20 feet. All right, now it's exactly 20. I'm gonna lock it by click on the right arrow. And here we go, now we locked it. Now we need to go to parameter number five. Parameter number five is basically to say what application to use the pressure transmitter for. In that case, it's level. So we click on the right arrow and switch it to level. When it's level, click on the right arrow one more time to lock it. All right, now we need to go to parameter number 16. All right, that's where we're gonna start uh, set up our display. All right, so parameter number 16 is basically you choose what unit your display will be on. In our case, it will be foot or feet. So here we go, inches, no, feet, FT. So now we can lock it by click on the right arrow. Now going to parameter number 18. 18 is your lower display scale. It's on zero, that's where we want it to be. This is the minimum reading the display gonna show. So zero here would be equal to whatever lower range value, which is mode three. Right, now we go to mode 19. This is your upper scale. This is the maximum of your display range. Now it's 164, we need to put it down to 20 feet. Right now, we click on the right arrow, and then we start to 
keep pushing on the down arrow all the way down to the 20 feet. All right, we, oh, I overshoot it. Now I can go up one more time. All right, here we go. 20, now to lock it, you need to click on the right arrow. Finally, we need to go down to parameter 32. And parameter 32 basically telling you, or you telling the pressure transmitter what your start view should be. In our case, we need the start view to be level. So we go all the way to the level and then lock it by click on the right arrow. And that's it. Now we are done with configuring the mirror for such application. To go back to the main display, you can click on the left arrow. And here we go. Our second application is basically same application, but this time the pressure transmitter mounted one foot above the bottom of the tank. So we need to offset that one foot off the mirror measurement. The way you do it, you go to the parameter one, still being as is as the previous one. Now, lower range. In our case, the lower range for the pressure transmitter will still be zero, right? And the upper range, now it's not gonna be 20 foot of water because the pressure transmitter only sees 19 feet of water. So we're gonna change this one which is parameter three, to basically, we're gonna push it down to 19. All right, now it's 19. As I mentioned in, earlier in the video, the mirror only can measure the static pressure above it. That's why it only sees 19 feet of water. Now, what we need to do is to change the display setting. In that case, we need to go to parameter number 18, right? Parameter number 18 is the lower scale. In our case, we should keep it as one foot. So when the mirror doesn't see any pressure, the display will show up one foot. That's how we can offset the one foot. Lock it by click on the right arrow and then go to the upper scale. Now the upper scale is 20 foot. So what's gonna happen now that as long as the mirror measures from zero to 19 foot, the display is gonna show from one foot to 20 feet, which is exactly what we need it to measure. Our third application is for liquid with specific gravity different than the water. In that case, specific gravity is 0.9. So the pressure exerts on the transmitter when the tank is full is 20 feet times 0.9, which is 18 feet of water. Now, what we need to do is to scale the pressure transmitter to read from zero to 18 feet of water. And obviously, as we know, the display need to show up from zero to 20. Keep in mind, in this application, although the liquid says specific gravity is 0.9, but we went back one more time to assume that the pressure transmitter is mounted exactly at the bottom of the tank. So in this application, no need to offset the one foot or any level. All right, now we click on the right arrow. We go to the configuration menu, the very first parameter. Make sure you have it on feet of water in 68 degree reference. Now we go to the parameter number two, which is your lower range value. In our case, we need it to be zero. Parameter number three is your upper range value. In our case, we need it to be 18 feet of H2O. So we click on the right arrow, we change it to 18 by pressing on the down arrow.
Okay, now we do have 18 feet of H2O. To lock it, you need to press on the right arrow. Okay, go to, we, we need now to go to parameter number five and make sure it's still application level, right? Now we need to go all the way down to parameter number 16, which, you, which is our display setting. And make sure it's still in feet. That's how the display gonna show your liquid level. And going to parameter number 18, this is your lower scale. All right, make sure this is gonna show zero because you remember the pressure transmitter located at the bottom of the tank. We don't need to offset anything. All right, now it's zero. Lock it by clicking on the right arrow. Going down, uh-huh, all right, the, the upper display setting is at 20 feet where we want it to be. So basically what's gonna happen that as the pressure moves from zero to 18 foot of water, the display is gonna show up zero to 20 feet of level. Now, last but not least, we need to go all the way to parameter number 32 and make sure that our start view is 32. It is. Now you can press on the left arrow and here you go. Our fourth and last application is for transmitter located one foot above bottom of a tank filled with liquid with specific gravity of 0.9. For a liquid with a specific gravity of 0.9, the pressure exerts on the transmitter when the tank is full is equal to 19 feet times 0.9, which, which is 17.1 feet of water. That means what we need to do is to scale our pressure transmitter to read from zero to 17.1 feet of water range. Now, to do that, what we need to do is to first go to, from the main display, to go to the configuration menu and go to parameter one, make sure it's feet of water in reference of 68 degree temperature. Go to parameter two, it's our zero level or our lower river range, which is your four milliamp. In that case, we still keep, wanna keep it zero. Then switch to parameter number three. This is your upper range value. Now, what we need to do is to change it to 17.1. And the way to do it is to click on the right arrow and then press on the down arrow all the way till you can see 17.1. Now we need to switch to parameter number five, make sure the application there is level, which is our desirable application. Now we need to go all the way to parameter number 16. And parameter number 16 basically is the unit that you're gonna see at your display. So this is your display unit. In our case, we need it to be feet. So you can see FT, that's feet. So we don't need to change it. Now we need to go to parameter number 18. Parameter number 18 is your lower scale. Keep in mind, this is your chance to offset the one foot. And the way to do that is to click on the right arrow, push it up, now it's one. Go to the right, press on the right arrow, now you lock that. And that, that's the, like that way, whenever your pr pressure transmitter senses zero pressure, will show up at your dis display as one foot. Now we go to the parameter number 19. This is your upper scale. This is your maximum scale, your maximum display scale. You wanna make sure it's 20. So now when your pressure transmitter senses 17.1 feet of water worth of pressure, your display will show up 20 feet, and that's exactly what, how we need it to, to perform. All right, the last thing you need to do, make sure that your parameter 32 is set it to level, and that means whenever you, you look at the pressure transmitter, the first display will be view. The first view will be the level. Now it's there. All right, go back, you're all set.